mimic it as best as possible. So there's a couple things that we need to remember when we're graphing our sine function. The first two things is we have to figure out what the amplitude and what the period are. Now the amplitude, like I said, it's fairly simple. Uh, it's all it's going to be is your absolute value of A. So we're just going to say 2 absolute value <coughs> equals 2, right? And just a quick reminder, f of x equals A cosine of Bx minus C plus D. That's going to be our general form of our equation. So we find our amplitude, which is just the absolute value of A, your number in front of cosine, so it ends up getting 2. Then we need to figure out what the period is. Now remember the period is how long it takes our graph to complete one cycle. So our period is going to be 2 pi divided by B. And I probably shouldn't just say this is absolute value of A, so remember it. So the period is 2 pi over B. Well remember B is your number that's in front of X. Well here you can see that B is 2. So you have 2 pi over 2, which gives you pi. Got it? Okay. So now we need to graph the cosine function. Now there's a couple things you guys should remember about the cosine function. Is first of all, it has a um, here you can see the amplitude is 2. That means the highest, the distance from our x-axis to the maximum point is going to be 2. And the distance from our x-axis to the minimum point is going to be 2. So I'm going to make my y-axis go up to 1 and down to 2. Now remember the cosine, we, it crosses at your y-axis. Yes? Are they always going to be seen like the top one and the bottom one? Or, you know what I'm saying? If it goes up 2, then it goes down 2. Oh. Yes. Um, and then the last thing we notice is our period. So it takes, let's say our period, it's going to go to pi for it to complete a cycle. Now remember I told you there's four important points that we need to find. We have a maximum point, we have a minimum point, we have where it first crosses the intercept, and we have our end of our period. So therefore there's four critical points we find. So I already have one. To find the other ones, I can just say pi divided by four. And this one's actually pretty simple. We know that as long as I break this up into pi over 4, I just keep on adding pi over 4. What I'll get me is um, my four little sections. So you can say that halfway would be pi over 2. This is pi over 4. And really what I'm doing, guys, is pi over 4 plus another pi over 4, right? If you just kept on adding pi over 4, pi over 4 plus another pi over 4 is 2 pi over 4, which is 1 half. Add another pi over 4, which would be 3 fourths. So it'd be 3 pi over 4. And this is pi, or 4 pi over 4. Make sense? I'm just not writing them all yes. in the same. Okay, so then what we need to understand is you know, what exactly does it take for the graph? Well, it's going to start here. That means it's going to have to end here. All right, and the next thing is if you remember, if you remember what the parent function is of the cosine graph. What we'll understand is it's going to cross here. Here will be my minimum, and it's going to cross here. Okay? And then remember, it does say to go for uh, two cycles, correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on adding. You can keep on adding pi's over 4. So you can say that's 5 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and simply all we're going to be doing, and this will be 8 pi over 4. Okay, or remember this graph also goes in the other direction. This goes infinitely to the left side. So you can say it's negative pi over 4, negative pi over 2. Negative. And you can go in that direction as well. So wherever you want to do your two pi, you can either do you can do a um, a period to the left or a period to the or two periods to the right. It doesn't really matter, but try to include at least two periods. But just remember, guys, if you the main important thing is amplitude of period. Find your important points, your four points, section them off, and then know what the graph looks like to graph them. Yes. Now if it was two cosine three x. It makes it a little difficult when your period is not even, because right. you have to you have to divide it into force, which uh, we can, yeah. which I can show a video on. Yeah.
Yeah, sure. So well, that's. Not 